taking a walk along the rich neighborhoods of Nyali. So what you can see on my right, these are very expensive hotels like the Tamarind and so on. Then the rich class in Mombasa stays in this place. Then uh, I got accompanied by my friend here. At this side they don't allow matatu, right? So the goal today, I was I was attending the show, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, oh, they come here. So I was attending Mombasa show, and some guy told me that oh, it's somewhere near here. You don't need to take a vehicle. Then guess what? I've been walking for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> they have been working the last 30 minutes. It's not easy. Oh, but I'm lucky I got this friend here, so he's showing me around as well, headed to his workplace probably. So, my name is Ghost Africa, whoever uh, has not watched me before. Yeah, so today I want to be showing the show. It's a festival. What in Trinidad and Tobago we call the carnival. So it's happening uh, from yesterday up to Sunday. So the people are wondering why is it that this guy is walking with camera these streets? Why is it that he's walking? And here they're not used to seeing someone walk. So everyone here drives their vehicle and probably the people ahead of me, those guys ahead of me, they ghost misled just like me. Luckily I got an opportunity to showcase the rich neighborhood of Nyali, Mombasa, Kenya. So on my right this house are just sent to the to the beach, to the ocean, to the Indian Ocean. I've seen some guy here. The marmite, the marmite gets to see this vlog. That guy was once my friend. He used to comment on my on my blogs. Then. Uh, all of a sudden, he got elected, so he's now, I mean, he, he, he got elected as the member of county assembly, then all of a sudden he became the speaker of Mombasa County. And that's how I lost a friend. That's how he changed, he changed class. But he's a good guy. I still support him up to date. Yeah, there we have the ocean, just past those plants. That is Indian Indian Ocean, eh? Or oh, Mombasa Old Town across. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that that is Mom Mombasa Old Town. And the Indian Ocean. At this point, we don't have crime, right? I couldn't cry, Mugu. Ah, okay. Yeah, basically what my friend is telling me that um, we had some missionaries who visited 
Mombasa a while ago. So um, it was a, a, a lady and a man. So the lady died. The lady died, then the man survived by due to old age or maybe because of the climate or maybe they go sick sick so when the wife died that guy moved from this area but the wife still got buried here we are about to see their grave Sandy apartments so the reason we having this public transport vehicle around is because of the show it's not uh, an unusual thing seeing them walk around uh, drive around and uh, those who can afford having houses around this place they are filled rich they are either big business moguls or um, political leaders probably the governor and the members of parliament So, on my left is the Kenya Maritime and Fisheries Institute headquarters. Basically, it's their headquarters. So, that tells you here it's a big place and it's a secure place. I don't know whether they allow filming, but if they don't, in case they don't allow, I might leave the video but that's not the wish that's not my wish the wish and the goal is to show you this video same, same. hi I know someone is about to comment that I'm appreciating the lady. Oh, but when the lay? Yes, you catch. Oh, you can put me again. Oh, no, you say. This is you are going to get the gift for getting a bam B. Oh, you can take a B, C, D. Same thing. Oh, good. Here, you can get it. Now, look at the gold beans. Admire the views of the rich neighborhoods of this city. The big city. Bro, Vipi. It's on. The good views of the beach town. Port town. Beach. Yeah, that's Nyali Beach. Oh, Nyali Beach, do <laughs> Oh, the lady, that lady was was buried somewhere here. So this is an old grave for the missionaries. Number one, it's Nine. Yeah. So certain missionary was buried here. Reverend something missionary of the church of the what is this? It's not visible, but that lady was a missionary. Those people brought gospel, brought Christianity to Kenya, to Africa. You know. Okay. Before we used to worship in shrines, our forefathers used to worship in shrines. But when uh, the missionaries came, they changed our ways of worship. So we stopped going to the temples. And it's so, it's so unfortunate that someone made us believe um, our way of life was wicked. Our way was, of life was not the right one. So we started doing something different. We started behaving differently. Wow. This is the Nara. Nara. Not 
Nari na mashe? Yo yo, munara wa jamaa si si miel. Oh, this guy was built by that missionary. Can you add it, bro? Can you see what one we even did? Ah, they reached Mombasa May 1844, but in July she died, and he he by a grave near this spot summoned the church to attempt the conversion of African from its eastern show scholar, linguist and traveler he and Reverend J. Rebman discovered Kenya and Kilimanjaro like Dr. Livingstone he died on his knees at prayer November 1881 this guy, this guy is trying to say that he discovered Kenya. How did you discover Kenya? We have been living here how through. This is Swahili. Hmm? This is not. Oh, this is now Swahili. Yeah. So whoever doesn't maybe understand Swahili, English, this is it in Swahili. Just screenshot it. Or oh, the video and uh, view later. Read it. So I, I really don't understand how some people feel special. Yes, true, you brought uh, Christianity in Kenya, in Africa, but don't go to an extent of saying that you discovered our land. Bro, unaamini kweli hii watu wanasemaga wanasema ati wao wenyewe wanakuja wanasema ati wao wenyewe ndo wali to discover, wali discover Kenya. Maybe I see maybe I feel you are. I feel you are June. We should look at our nation. Nation. Well, we should go to discover it. Nation in Jeju. Oh. 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 Oh.
we used to read these things from history books but I never thought a time will come whereby I'll be having interest to research myself I'll be having the interest to be part of the history because I know that whatever I'm about to reveal in my videos in my short stay in the coast um, it's going to remain in people's memories that go see Africa revealed this to us revealed what slave trade was all about revealed where Mekatilili wa Menza was being held where our champions um, our fighters, our warriors were being held defending slave trade you know that was very wrong though you can say someone by now I know someone um, maybe they might be happy where you are you are happy you are somewhere in Antigua you are somewhere in Bahamas but you really don't know where or what your forefathers went through for you to be there whether you have made it in life or not you don't know what they went through I've, go, I've gone to the extent of visiting those cells inside the cells and uh, the area has no ventilation at all the, the air you breathe there was not enough you are there guarded all through someone is not giving you the peace probably to sleep and forget the problems you are undergoing because they are always in the cell with a, a military guy at the gate these guys are always on, uh, on fear that revolution might come in time at the same time you know they have to be in their toes because they have rivals we started having hosting uh, Portuguese at the coast then all of a sudden the Oman Arabs were attacking them they wanted to win they want to take over the Kenyan coast yeah all of a sudden Britons came with the idea that they were saving Kenya they were changing Kenya so they chased the Oman Arabs and anyone else who was remaining they started doing business at the coast so now we have Arabs at the coast Arabs who don't know where they came from but I guess most of them came as a result of um, intermarriages I really don't know whether yeah the, the, we had intermarriages and that's how Swahili was formed Britons ruled us for a certain period I don't know how you guys are going to view this because I know I have Britons watching this I have no bad blood with you you guys always support me so well uh, but the Mama, um, I'm happy for the Mama fighters, the likes of Kenyatta, Tomboya, um, Kimathi, Ashuri, all those big names. They fought the white man until we attained independence. And now we attained independence in the year 1963. Then in 1964, we attained self rule. And that's how we started. Uh, managing our own affairs but it's so unfortunate that those big families still have large parcels of land within Kenya in Kenya and their people still live in Kenya how do we benefit from this this person never bought this parcel of land this person only for only found himself there simply because uh, they had a good relationship with the then president, the first president, the founding father of Kenya. They are still uh, living happy in this beautiful country, Kenya. Meanwhile, I'm having a good time here, uh, interacting with the people of coast. They are sharing their good experiences. They are sharing how 
uh, they interact with uh, these foreigners who became their family members who became Kenyans as well because most of them don't even uh, know where they originated from <laughs> yeah but we learn to accept them we learn to accept them but though that doesn't take away the fact that um our forefathers were mistreated our land was was taken by force our forefathers were forced to work on their land being paid peanuts they took our they killed our wild animals they killed our elephants and took the tusks yeah that's a fact they what else did they do to us yeah they took the fertile lands then chased us from chased us to the desert if i take you around this all these beach houses they all belong to such people they all belong to foreigners our people were not given chance to settle there and if it happens that you become rich then they will still sell you the same parcel of land they got for free at a very high cost well meanwhile i'm liking um the ambience in this area i'm liking uh, the chairs you know the current government is doing amazing job creating all this yeah. You can always come here and enjoy that fresh air. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel relaxed. You know, the flora and fauna. And you definitely love Africa, and that's why uh, anything about Africa, I'm for it. Now we're not doing the Trinidad Carnival, we are doing the Mombasa show. What uh, you might call a carnival as well it's an amazing one though i'm being told the main event will take place a bit late but i have to be here i have to attend i have to show you what's happening my name is go see africa so you watching me for the first time kindly subscribe to my channel share the link with your friends tell your friends to subscribe to me yeah T tell them that we need to, to spread the gospel together the african gospel together so have a goodbye for now let's meet on the next episode goodbye